So, one, one thing I've noticed about Mwanza, it's definitely bigger than, let's say, Kisumu. I feel like it's more wide. Um, it has a, a very unique features where you'll see houses um, located near the very big rocks. So that's a unique feature. But in comparison to maybe, say, infrastructural development, Kisumu City may have the edge by just a little bit. I wouldn't say that much. But Mwanza City is definitely bigger. Now in this section here, you will find many of the banks, you know, like NMB, Equity Bank. But um, a lot of the budget hotels are located a little bit just outside the main downtown area if you're looking for a budget hotel. But nevertheless, you do find other upscale hotels here um, for those who are interested. And we're coming up to one right now on the left and it's known as the Golden Crest Hotel. That's what you're seeing right here, this tall building. That's the Golden Crest Hotel. And I guess this is one of the five-star hotels here in Wanza City. So right next to the Golden Crest Hotel, we have the Vodacom shop, and that's one of the mobile companies here in Tanzania. So if you might need to get internet, you may need a mobile line that you need to set up, then you can find it here. That's the Vodacom shop, and right next to the Gold Crest Hotel. So that's a landmark you could remember if you wanted to find this place. So far I'm liking Mwanza, man. You know, because it's near the lake, you, although it's hot, you do get a nice lakeside breeze in the city, which makes, makes, it, makes it more cool, you know, when you're here. Really laid back feel though. It's a laid back feel, I must say. But nevertheless, like, everything seems to be, businesses seems to be in close proximity to each other. I think it's quite an easy town to navigate around. Which is, which is good. So this was what we're walking on, um, was Jomo Kenyatta Avenue. Now Jomo Kenyatta was of course, the first president of the Republic of Kenya. So yeah, th this is, they got an avenue name after him here. And right now we're, we're near this famous um, fish, a symbol of the, the it's like a fish um, fountain here, water, fish water fountain. And it's famous because, of course, it's the, the fish is symbol of the area here in Mwanza. A lot of people earn a living by doing fishing. So this is what it looks like here on the roundabout, just off the Jomo Kenyatta Avenue. At the roundabout between Station Road and Kenyatta Avenue, the statue of the famous Lake Victoria tilapia fish can be found. It is a meeting point in the center of Mwanza, which can be found easily. The samaki, Swahili for fish, symbolizes the economic activity of fishermen of Mwanza. It is a place where you can take photographs with the tilapia fish. Now, of course, there is a national park nearby, and this sign is saying Sanane Island National Park. It's around 800 meters away. 
So it's not too far from the downtown area here in Mwanza. So if um, visiting national parks is your thing, then you can definitely check it out. This is Echo Bank here, the Pan-African Bank, apparently. And they got ATM, so if you do have your international card, your Visa card, MasterCard, then you have enough ATM that you can use in the city. Now we're coming up to a very important um, building here, not too far from the Jomo Kenyatta Avenue here in downtown Mwanza. And it's the Tanzania Investment Center. Lake zone, of course, we're in the lake zone region. So if you're, of course, interested in investing in the area, then a building like this will be one of the places you will come to get information from. That's the Tanzania Investment Center. So for those who might be interested in, invest, in, in investment, then that's a very important biz, um, building to know about, just even for information purposes. This is the commercial bank here, and another building where you'll find different offices here in Mwanza City. Mwanza is a port city on the shore of Lake Victoria in northwestern Tanzania. It is the busiest and second largest city after Dar es Salaam. It is located on Lake Victoria. The fishing industry is an important part of the economy. In Mwanza's town center, there are colonial buildings like the crumbling hilltop Dr. Robert's Couch House, the 1935 Indian Public Library, mosque and Hindu temples reflect the Indian influence and the Makorobi area is full of shops. Mwanza is indeed surrounded by hills strewn with enormous boulders. Despite its rapidly rising skyline, Mwanza manages to retain a casual feel. In addition to being a stop on the way to Robondo Island National Park, Mwanza is a great starting and finishing point to and from safaris through the Serengeti. So this is just like a small bus terminal. Here you will find the local buses, the Dala Dala buses, as we say in um, Tanzania, Dala Dala. In Kenya, they call them Matatus, and these are for the local people. Local people, and they just go into some of the surrounding areas in Mwanza. So this is Kaluta Street I'm currently on right now and they got a really nice hotel here guys look at this got a really nice structure it's the Hallman Hotel and Tours so I guess they do um, tours here as well but this is what it looks like this is what the building looks like really nice building structure I like it and they seem to have a um, 
a bar and restaurant as well just over there. I've been seeing quite a number of them in ones, a lot of bars and restaurants. So I'm walking towards a section in town, downtown here in Mwanza, where you'll find a lot of um, small businesses, uh, marketplaces, you'll be able to get different furnitures. Like for example, if you look over on your left, there's fridges, there's fans, there's even things for hair salons, speakers. So m most of these things which people need in their homes, on their, that they will use on a day-to-day -day basis, you can find it here in Mwanza on Kaluta Street. It seems a bit more busy in comparison to where we were walking before. Uh, so where we were walking is a bit more upscale in comparison to here. These are one of the tour trucks we're seeing passing by there. Probably going to the national park and the other parts of the lake. So you can see what I was saying, this side of town is much more busy, a lot of local businesses. Even got people walking around selling tea, fruits and different things like that. So all of that can be found on this street. And like I was saying, if you're looking for the African fabric, you can also find that here. So another thing you'll know as well, of course, ones that also have had people from the in the India that had migrated to this place long time ago. Some of them, of course, have been living here for quite some time. They've set up businesses here and all of that. And on this street here, you will find some of the Hindu and um, Sikh temples. So you're going to get to see that. This is what we're coming up to right now.
This is also a local school here, guys. Rajendra Rupal Nursery School. This is the outside. I really like the cultural feel of Mwanza as well. Like, for example, that woman straight ahead, and even this woman right here, are just walking and they got um, peanuts on their head. And of course, these are for sale and people can stop them and buy some peanuts and stuff like that. Real nice cultural feel, you know? I like that when I visit a city, it adds a, a very unique character and charm to it when I see these things, definitely. This is the Le Chauffe Hotel, one of the local hotels downtown that you'll find here. And right next to it, there's a mosque opposite. So we're deep downtown, guys. Deep downtown in Mwanza City. Two high-rise buildings on this side. got a bank and I guess other apartments and there are also people that live here and some of them be living here for quite some time you know you'll even find a lot of people from the Indian community they live downtown because of course it's close to their places of business usually you'll find that in various uh, cities across Tanzania even Dar es Salaam I know it's for example, in Kisutu and these places, you had a lot of people from India or in Tanzania and Indians that live downtown close to their place of business. So these are all apartments right here.
So this is one of the roundabout here and they got a picture of the fat, one of the first presidents of uh, Tanzania, Julius Kambarege Narere. And of course he was from, I believe, Butiama, but it's also a, a town that's a part of the Mwanza region here as well. So really nice, nice vibe here, guys. It's really nice and sunny peaceful vibe so I gave you a little dose of the city gave you a lovely city tour guys so this here guys is the rock city shopping mall here in Mwanza beautiful structure as you can see so this is one of the well it's the biggest shopping mall in the Mwanza region so if visiting shopping malls is your thing and you appreciate shopping malls then yeah you have it here in Mwanza so there's a bit of balance like you can see we were on the market side but you also have shopping malls here and of course you will find things like jewelry shops banks ATM machines and other businesses here in the mall so this is what it looks like outside and there's also like a play area on this section here for children as well so they can come and play on the swings and different things like that so yeah this is what the mall looks like from the outside and we're gonna go in and have a have a wonder see what's inside yeah so this is what it looks like inside they got elevators they got a lift here this is one coming down here quite spacious but it's a bit quiet today um, but this is what you expect to see when you come inside. So if you're coming at the Rock City Mall, you've got enough places to park. This is the parking area at the back of the mall. And they even have um, some, if you've got children, they've got some cars that they can sit in. It's remote control and they can enjoy a ride around here as well. So really nice, guys. This is what you expect to see when you come here. I think later on in the evening times, you will have live band and music at the back here as well. There's like a stage here we're coming up to right now on the left. So yeah, this is what you expect to see when you come here. That's it there. That's the stage. It really gets busy and lively in the evening, guys. You will even have live band here as well. So this is the Rock City Mall. You gotta check it out when you visit Mwanza. So literally right in front there, this is the play area. They, they even got a bar and restaurant there. So the children can come and play here and there's also a swimming pool, guys. So all of this you get to experience right by the Rock City Mall here in Mwanza. So yeah, I'm really liking this, man. They, they really catered their best for everyone there's also swings available i'm even seeing like a water fountain a little bit over there so this is really nice guys mons has been positive so far and the beautiful lakeside breeze really hits you here so although it could be quite humid you do have the wind the breeze kind of like the vibe you will get in the caribbean when you're surrounded by water and you get the sea breeze and stuff like that so really nice vibe here in Mwanza. Greetings from the lakeside city of Mwanza and here I'm right at the shores of Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria is also shared by Kenya and Uganda but Tanzania has a large portion of the lake 
and it's quite calm at the moment and you can also get a boat cruise a boat, a boat you can get a boat ride and that's that boat right there it costs around 20,000 Tanzanian shillings per person to get on and you it's over an hour and you can cruise around see some of the sites even the Bismarck rock which is right here famous Bismarck rock you can get to climb and get to see that as well so it's really nice here guys I'm loving the atmosphere I'm loving the vibe of the people here in Mwanza beautiful beautiful lakeside city I went to Kisumu recently another lakeside city and now I'm in Mwanza this is the lakeside city on the Tanzanian side yeah so this is this side of town hope you enjoy all right guys I'm at the Lake Victoria here in Mwanza and right now you're going to see Bismarck rock very unique feature here in Mwanza it's a rock that I could, could actually stand on its own in a unique position without falling and it's been like that for quite some time it's named after General uh, Governor Bismarck who was from Germany a long time ago was a, I guess a governor in the region here but I'm not sure of the local indigenous name but nevertheless it's a unique feature to the town a, a popular tourist attraction a lot of people come here to take pictures of it it's a very beautiful beautiful environment here right now beautiful scenery and I'm really loving it let me show you what I can see here now so right in front of us here this is the Bismarck rock as you can see and I'm watching it there I'm actually wondering how that heavy rock is just standing on its own in that unique position there and it never falls okay and of course there are other rocks nearby but that is definitely one of the popular feature here in Mwanza and of course people do come here for a swim so it has like some sand here on the shores you can see children young people are enjoying a swim here playing having having fun and um you can also take a cruise on the lake and just see some of the surrounding areas now where my hand is pointing these are homes over there houses where people actually live and they get to have a beautiful view of the lake now there is an entry fee to actually come where i am here on the rocks where i am here standing it costs me el fumoja which is one thousand Tanzanian shilling so it's definitely quite affordable so yeah this is the vibe you get a lot of school children coming here as well and just enjoying the lake these are some school children down there and this is the view you can see when you come here to Mwanza so yeah definitely check it out guys there's a hotel nearby and in the evening there's live band music happening and you can come and enjoy fresh lakeside food so yeah this is nice a lot of people they earn a living from this lake this is where they'll come and obviously catch fish and different things like that lake victoria definitely had a large portion of it is in the tanzania side and then some of it is in uganda and kenya has uh, i think the least amount of a portion of the lake so yeah this is it guys let me know what you think of the Bismarck Rock and also the lake.